Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV, and yes, these are some huge LED panels behind me. So these are part of the new Victor range of studio LED panels from LS. Hopefully by now, most of you are vaguely familiar with LS edge lights. I've made several videos about them, and I actually use them for nearly every video I make here, including this one, there's one here lighting me right now. They are nice, soft, flattering light sources, and they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, so there's something for every application. And with the new Victor range, LS have given us a whole load more options to choose from. So these are big, high power draw lights, definitely intended for studio use. You can, of course, use them on location if you like, especially the smaller ones like this one here. But for those of you lighting studios or interior sets, these are definitely lights to be aware of. So the main concept behind these lights is bigger is better. At the end of the day, these are soft LED panels. And the main way, to, after all, to get a softer source is to have a bigger source. Traditionally, in a studio environment, you get a huge sheet of diffusion and bounce several large powerful lights through it to get a soft even wash over your subject. And that's still the best way to get the best results. And there's no debating that. But what these lights offer you is something that gets close. Because you can stick one of these huge lights on wheels and then quickly and easily move it around to wherever you need it to be. And yes, they're large lights, but compared to the alternative, they are small, low profile and very practical. So the range has taken things to the next level in terms of physical size, but it's also taken to the next level in terms of performance. So the LS range has always been very color accurate and things are no different here at all. I've measured every single light in the range and haven't seen a TLCI score lower than 98, which is very impressive. And because of the high power draw, they are brighter than the rest of the range. So let's compare the Edge 2400 to the Victor 1x4 as these are two lights in different ranges that are actually exactly the same physical size. The Edge 2400 puts out 3,800 lux at one meter, and it draws 200 watts of power to do so. The Victor 1x4, on the other hand, draws 300 watts of power, but it doubles the output, scoring 7,800 lux at one meter. If you want to take a closer look at any of the meter readings for these lights, they're all up on the product pages for each of the lights on our website. Now, an area that does suffer, unfortunately, because of the higher power draw, is the ability to run the lights on battery power. Most of these lights have two V-Lock slots on the back and actually need a battery in each of them to power up. So you'll be draining two big, expensive V-Lock batteries at once if you want to run these on battery power. Not ideal for most users, obviously. But it is nice that LS do still give you the option built into the light to power from V-Locks. Some of the smaller panels can be run off just one V-Lock though, namely the 12 inch and this one, the 18 inch round units. So what do you think of the new Victor range from LS? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, more information about all of these lights is up on our website and the links to those are below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.